This is a winter weather alert. You are watching 13 on your side. Hey there, West Michigan. Thanks for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Barron's and you just heard there is a winter weather alert in place for West Michigan. In fact, it includes pretty much the entirety of our Lakeshore and Kalamazoo counties, which are under a winter weather advisory that goes from now until one o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Lake effect snow bands likely to bring several inches of snowfall to the counties. They're highlighted in purple. In fact, we're already seeing quite a bit of snow falling at this hour in South Haven. Here's the view from the Visitors Bureau tower camera around 930 on Saturday night. You can see snow falling at a pretty good rate there at the lake shore and the beach starting to turn a little bit more snow covered as well. And this will only continue as we head through the night with those lake effect bands pushing on shores. Winds coming off the water around 23 miles per hour as of 930 Saturday night. That's only the uh, well second round of snow. Uh, one of several that will be pushing through West Michigan that we're going to see this picture from Boyd came in earlier today where the snow had already hit the Lake Michigan shoreline uh, early in the morning and then of course the heavier stuff coming tonight. We also got a picture from Andy in Whitehall where you can see one of the lake effect bands this evening and just how different the weather can be from one spot to another blue skies and sunshine coming through in Whitehall, but that lake effect snow was churning not far away. Of course, we'd love to share any of your snow photos here at 13 in your side, and you can send them to me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on Twitter and on Instagram. When it comes to the temperatures, we hit the 40s on Saturday, 41 in Grand Rapids, 40 Muskegon, 39 in Holland. Temperatures below average for this time of the year, but inside our three degree guarantee told you a high of 40 hit 41. Current accuracy streak at two days in a row with five misses in the last month of forecasting. When it comes to your Sunday, we're looking at cooler temperatures. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in blue and blinking bright as those rain, wintry mix and snow chances are in sight tonight and into the day on Sunday as well. View of the 13 weather ball sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. As of 930 temperatures were in the low 30s in West Michigan. The ground temperatures, of course, warmer than the air temperatures. So most of what's falling is uh, sticking on those surfaces like sand, grass, um, certainly on top of some cars, but the road stickiness has not really been a factor so far. Most of the roads have remained clear as of now. Wind chills a factor out there this evening with winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Feels like temperatures already down in the 20s. We'll see temperatures drop close to the 20s as we head through tonight. In fact, that low in Grand Rapids is expected to be 28 degrees with scattered lake effect snow possible. Most of the snow stays to the west of US 131. So so once you get to Grand Rapids, Kent County, really not expecting to see much of any accumulation, but those Lakeshore counties are expecting to see it tonight. Sunday, mostly cloudy lake effect mix comes to an end by the afternoon, and then Monday we stay cool and mostly cloudy. A flurry or two possible, but no accumulation expected after we get past Sunday afternoon. Again, as of about 930, pretty good lake effect band pushing down the lakeshore. Most of the accumulation coming in from Holland to the south, down 196, especially down in Southern, Southern Allegan County and Van Buren County into Kalamazoo as well. That's where the heaviest band had been as of that 930 hour. But again, the big picture here shows more lake effect pushing all across the Great Lakes region, and that's going to continue as we head into the overnight hours. Here's that hour by hour forecast going through Saturday night into early Sunday. Those Lakeshore counties, the same ones that were in the advisory territory, they have the heaviest bands pushing through. There's going to be two areas we're watching in particular for the high highest accumulation potential. And that's going to be one from Muskegon to the north up toward Mason and Oceana County. Uh, that's going to be one corridor. The other one where we're already seeing the heavier snowfall come, that's going to be Holland to the south toward Van Buren County, down toward the Indiana state line and over toward Kalamazoo. This particular corridor right in here likely to have some of the highest snow accumulations by the time this is all said and done. Speaking of which, we see this start to wrap up as we head into Sunday afternoon with only a few flurries left by Sunday night. 
tonight. We'll see the snow chances really uh, stay out of the picture as we head into Monday, but some system snowfall actually going to work its way toward us as we head toward Tuesday, and that one has potential to be a lot more widespread than what we're going to see through the remainder of this weekend. When it comes to snowfall totals out there, we're going to highlight two models here for you. Show what we're talking about again. Those two major corridors being displayed here. That first one up to the north and the second one further to the south. This model here a little bit more on the high end of snow totals where we could see possibly two to uh, as much as five or even more in some very localized areas of amounts of accumulation. Again, mostly going to be on those grassy surfaces on vehicles and not so much on the roadways, but slushy slick roads will be a possibility as we head through tonight and into early Sunday. The low end here um, about one to three plus uh, from a different model. This one, the graph model. So really what our forecast here for is at 13 on your side. We're thinking a broad area of one to three inches will be possible along the lakeshore. Once you get into this corridor down here, Allegan, Van Buren, Kalamazoo, and into this corridor up here, the Oceana County, Mason County, Northern Muskegon. Those are where the higher potentials are going to lie. And again, those could go as high as five, even a little bit more by the time this is all said and done. But most of the impacts again, thankfully not going to be on the roadways. More snow though, as we head into this week. In fact, here's Tuesday morning, a big system pushing through. This could bring accumulating snow and wintry mix to the entirety of West Michigan as we go through Tuesday and into Wednesday. This system pushes out as we go into Wednesday, but we're not done with the snow yet. It's a really snowy 10 day forecast that just sticks around. Lake effect snow continues as we head into Thursday and even into next Friday could bring additional accumulation to some of those lakeshore counties and those snow corridors that we've been talking about today. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on snow totals throughout the entirety of this week's forecast. Speaking of temperatures, we're looking at 20s and 30s as we head through the overnight tonight along the lakeshore. Again, those winter weather advisories in place for the counties in purple will be in the 20s for our northern zones with lows tonight around 28 Grand Rapids all the way down to Kalamazoo. We'll see temperatures tomorrow that'll be cooler than today and certainly below average. We'll be in the mid to upper 30s along the lakeshore with temperatures in our northern zones that'll be hanging around in the mid 30s. Those temperatures, Grand Rapids expected to be around 37, 38 in Kalamazoo. 13 on your side, 10 day outlook. <laughs> As we see temperatures that briefly tick back up on Monday, but come back down as we head toward Tuesday and Wednesday with that system snowfall pushing in. We'll see lake effect snow chances last through the end of the week as temperatures continue to tumble. In fact, highs by next weekend could only be in the 20s for our high temperatures. We dry out by the day eight and nine of the forecast, but more lake effect snow chances come in to round out the 10 day. The snow that we are getting and are expected to see here in West Michigan isn't the only snow in the region. In fact, many parts of the Midwest got hit by snowfall to kick off the weekend. This video is from our sister station WTHR in Indianapolis, where residents woke up this morning to accumulating snowfall and slush covered roads. These conditions led to a number of accidents, but you know, it wasn't all bad news for those that stayed off the road and took the chance to hit the sledding hills. It really was a nice day to take in some early season snow fun. You usually don't see it this early, especially not in Indiana. It's a rare treat when you do. Certainly made for a great way to spend a Saturday. I think some of us here in West Michigan may be able to do this by tomorrow morning. The snowfall isn't the only story in the weather world this weekend as the remains of Nicole pushed up the east coast from Florida. Severe weather was the result. Meanwhile, back in the Sunshine State, they continue to pick up the pieces from this latest round of tropical weather. ABC News's Stephanie Ramos has the latest. More the same Tonight, remnants of Hurricane Nicole now moving up the east coast. Tornado sirens sounding in downtown Richmond. Oh boy. Look right here at the lightning strikes. Those lightning strikes really cycling up. Heavy rain inundating drivers in Boone, North Carolina. Hurricane Nicole made landfall early Thursday south of Daytona Beach as a rare November Category 1 storm. 
And it absolutely eviscerated Florida's coastline. Dozens of homes and hotels crumbling to pieces down below or left teetering and uninhabitable. ABC's Victor Okendo in Daytona Beach Shores. Residents tell me they have never seen anything like this. Authorities have declared 49 buildings unsafe, calling the structural damage unprecedented. And there is still danger. Officials warning if you go anywhere near the beach, you are putting your life in jeopardy. Climate scientists say rising seas are making coastal floods flow deeper inland, making once in a century incidents like this much more frequent. Here in the New York City area, rounds of rain, sometimes heavy, slick roads and gusty winds, making for a dangerous ride home before what's left of Nicole finally moves out. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, New York. Well, now you're up to date with the latest forecast and some weather news from around the country. There's always more to be found at 13onyourside.com. And of course, you can track the snowfall moving through with the 13 on your side news and weather apps. Thanks again for watching 13 plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.